Russian troops use small group tactics in their attacks on the Pokrovsk direction, gathering in units of 50 to 100 individuals for assaults, according to BUILD. This tactic aims to establish a foothold on the outskirts of Solidov for further attacks. BUILD's sources report that, despite numerous attempts, the enemy cannot reach its final accumulation area and gather the necessary forces for an offensive. As a result, in recent days, Russian forces have been trying to attack from the flanks, trying to encircle Selidov from two sides. Ukrainian soldiers detect between 100 and 200 Russian troops daily in the area, subsequently targeting them with fire. Consequently, only 5 to 10 percent reach the last fortified position before Selidov, with the rest either killed or severely wounded. Anyone who has entered our land who has come into our area of responsibility does not leave alive. They cannot take us with small groups either. They tried to use vehicles, and we even captured one of their T-72B3 tanks, which made them very angry. Now they are trying to flank us. To be honest, they are having some success, but not enough for us to become very nervous, a source told Build. The Pokrovsk direction remains one of the hottest spots on the front where significant combat activity occurs daily. Due to constant Russian shelling, the town frequently faces power and water supply disruptions, complicating daily life for local residents and the operation of critical services. Despite the challenging conditions, approximately 16,000 people still reside in Pokrovsk, although evacuation efforts are ongoing. Recently, following Russian strikes on an infrastructure facility, the northern part of the Donetsk region was left without electricity. Additionally, during hostilities, Russian troops disrupted the water supply to Pokrovsk. So, Russian forces have been intensifying their attacks on the approach to the town of Pokrovsk in the Donbass, which used to be a key logistical hub far back from the front, crucial for supplying Ukrainian troops and towns in the east. But now water, electricity and gas supplies have been cut off and most residents are getting out while they still can. On the ground, the Russian army is said to be around 10 kilometers away from the eastern logistics hub of Pokrovsk, where their advances have triggered mass evacuations. Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. An associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov, Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, openly spoke about this in his blog. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkiv operation? Why go to Kharkiv from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now.
The advance on Pokrovsk has also stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. Earlier, it is reported that Kalashnikov predicted catastrophic consequences for Russia if the Kremlin decides on a new wave of mobilization. The Z propagandist is sure that this could end in a revolution. He made attention to the fact that the Russian authorities have already increased the one-time payment to recruits by more than 2 million rubles or about $21,000 at the official exchange rate. Despite this, there are fewer and fewer people willing to participate in the so-called SVO. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces have developed an acute shortage of manpower at the front due to huge losses. In the first month, the recruit is offered more than 3 million. Guest workers, migrants are welcomed, they are granted citizenship. Everything is flooded with money, loot. What does this mean? Any Western enemy intelligence officer will immediately conclude that there are simply not enough people, that the previous flow of contract soldiers is not enough. He will conclude about the level of losses, about the flow of those now wanting to sign a contract. And this is all a threat, Kalashnikov said. He is sure that the enemies are deliberately pushing the Kremlin to announce a new wave of mobilization in order to cause unrest in the Russian Federation and the collapse of the Putin regime. He is sure that Russia is not ready for a new wave of mobilization. The rear supply is not organized. The Ministry of Defense is in complete disorganization due to mass purges.